this one. Mars! Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We uh, a little bit of a slower start to the day this morning, I guess. Uh, Mars is just holding Harvey. Maverick's playing. He wants me to play airplanes with him. Uh, I'm supposed to be at work, but I was helping feed the babies, so I'm a little bit late to work this morning, which is okay. Maverick. You want to see Maverick's or <laughs> Maverick's smile? Harvey, Harvey, do 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 it's been rough. He loves his monster truck. Yeah. Loves the duck. They both help him a lot, but he still has... It takes him about 20 minutes longer than it normally would to fall asleep. So cute. Go down the side. Show, go down the side, Matt. What the heck is that? Or that looks like smoke. I just ran out here. Oh my gosh! Mars! I need something for these chicks! Oh my gosh, you guys! Got it unplugged. Okay, I need. No, it's that car. Oh my gosh. Here. Oh my heck. Whoa. Whew. Well, this is interesting. Um, don't know what to do with that. Yeah, it's on fire. My feet are covered in Zan poop. Um, all right, we're gonna have to use that fire extinguisher. Maverick, stay over here. Hey, hey, go back inside, kiddo. I don't even really know how to freaking use this thing. I know they make them so complicated. Did you call the pin already? No. Well, oh, there's no pin. Oh <coughs> my gosh, I'm covered in poop and goat poop. Zan, Zan came over, I think, somehow. Either Zan or the wind knocked the heat lamp into the goat, into the cage. Hey, ma'am, let's get inside. <coughs> no, no, yes, you have to go inside, Bubba. Oh. My gosh, sorry Bubba. Wow, I've never actually had to really use a fire extinguisher before. We should have used it that time we burnt the whole front yard down. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Oh my gosh, how? How did you see that? That was the luckiest thing ever. Cause that whole thing would have been on fire within minutes. Yeah. Cause it had all that wood it right there. It had burned really good. We've got to bring those shoes inside real quick. So I just picked up Somehow the chicks and the I the babies are okay. Yeah. I think. I mean I didn't see anything wrong with them. They had you guys probably saw it in the video, they had this little corner that they were hiding that didn't have any fire. Oh my gosh, how did that just happen? And that's crazy because all of our stuff is out there. Literally in two seconds, that whole thing could have just been on fire and our whole house burned out. Will you turn on the light? Hold it. The bottom of my feet. <laughs> Oh, guys, this, that was just a heart attack. So I was sitting on the couch or playing with Maverick or something and literally, oh my gosh, my adrenaline. Do you look at the back door? Yeah, I looked, so I'll show you. I was sitting here, I looked through the back window and I saw smoke coming across the back window there and it's raining. So I was like, oh, it might be mist. But I was like, there's no way that's mist. It doesn't look like mist. So I jumped up ran over there 
as you guys saw and realized that the whole chicken thing was on fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay. Let's go make sure that that's actually completely out and go assess the damage. Zan, what the heck are you doing back here? You're the one that caused this mess. Oh my heck. Well, it got hot enough that the glass jar broke. Still smoking in here. Our water container. That might still be usable. And uh, pretty well melted that. Ugh. Woo. Guys, this is insane. Let me show, I mean, literally, you guys can see that entire, there's a pile of boxes right there. That's full of like house stuff, painting stuff, aerosol cans. There's aerosol cans there, that whole shelf, plywood here. This whole thing is plywood. This, I mean, literally two more minutes and our entire house would have burned down. Oh my gosh. I, I, and why the heck, Zan, are you eating it? Why are you eating that? <sighs> Thank goodness it was not worse. Oh my gosh. I, I, I don't even know what to say, you guys. That was way, way too close of a call. I've never had anything like this happen. Never in my life. <sighs> Let's get this out of here. I guess I'm going to have to go to uh, the store and get another heat lamp and a new extension cord because both of those are fried. I don't know... Guys, this, this is, this is, I don't know how this thing started. So the electrical cord obviously burned. No, I think it was the heat lamp. <laughs> Maverick, you're not supposed to be outside. It's too cold for you, Bubba. I think that's the culprit right there. That dropped. Somehow the heat lamp got knocked off. It was on there securely. And I think it got knocked off. It started heating up, blew through there, and that probably just caused a jet flame into here, which that would have landed right in here somewhere and burned that. Well, good job putting on your shoes, Matt. Yeah, at least you put on his shoes, right? And then that just yeah. caught and burned. I can't believe those chicks didn't just get fried. Yeah, you've checked them out, right? No, I haven't looked at him yet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Well, we know that when things come down to it, I'll risk my fear of chickens to save their lives. Yes, seriously. I grabbed all of them. I know. I'm, I'm impressed, Mars. Holy crap. Mars, look how bad it is over there. Literally, there's a stack of cardboard boxes. If it would have gone for five more minutes, so the smoke went out of there. Yeah. Because the plastic... Was the problem with plastic, you guys, is it literally just melts. melts and, well, it catches on fire, and it's like gasoline that just burns for a long time. Like, it burns really hot, yeah, and it just it just burns and burns and yeah. burns and burns. It doesn't just burn out. That we had the extension yeah. cord on fire yeah. and everything. Like, yeah. Oh, my heck. Think of all oh the it burned this extension cord, too. This is my uh, air compressor extension cord. Dang. So your air compressor? Oh. What? Like it burnt the It burnt the cord. I'm going to have to replace the end of the cord on that. Holy cow. I'm glad we had that fire extinguisher too because putting out that or moving that tote on fire, I wouldn't have been able to put it out with water really. Yeah. So that fire extinguisher literally just did it in two seconds, you guys. As you saw. Which I'm glad I oh remembered gosh. that we had that. And I only remembered because Matt was trying to play with it yesterday. Wow. Well, we are extremely, extremely blessed, you guys. Let's go look at the chicks. Make sure they're doing good. We're going to have to go get another heat lamp. I think I actually have an extra one in the main chicken coop. Yeah, you I'll run it's and grab that right. real quick. Um, we got to figure out where the heck we're going to put them now, though. Because we don't have another option at this point. All right. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Let's show you guys the chicks. Let's go check on them. Let's take a look here. Oh, my hands are cold. They're going to hate that. Oh, they're a little bit covered in ash. Let's... Oh. Right. Oh. 
I mean, he like you can see his hair's got singed right there. Yeah. But he looks fine. I mean, yeah, it's hard to tell. I mean, I don't know how much smoke they inhaled or anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh, here, you want to hold that? Yeah. Okay. Be safe. Milk. Here, can let Daddy help you? Milk. Okay, now grab it. Milk. Milk? No, milk. Wow. Wow. No, they're no. they're kind of all looking a little like lethargic. I'm guessing it's probably from the smoke. So I'm gonna get them uh, some water. Yeah, I think some water, and we're gonna get the heat lamp set up. We really need somewhere to like, I mean, set their a pen up for them. Um, Put them right there, love. But we don't. You know, we need, they can't stay in this cage. It's not gonna work. Um, what about that box? Put them in this box for temporary and make sure it doesn't burn down. Yeah. The problem is, is it's getting cold here today and it's raining. So like finding a spot outside for them, like we, because um, we could always put in, we can move the quail and put them in the quail thing, but that we don't have time today or because of the weather, that's not possible to do today. I know what you're all thinking too. This is kind of crazy. And why do you guys have five bags of trash in your kitchen? Well, last week with the ice storm, our trash didn't get picked up. And they told us that they would take all of our bags of trash, but we have to keep them until then. So in two days. Well, the problem is, is you guys know we have predators and everything outside, so we can't stick our trash outside. So it has to sit there inside so it doesn't go all over our yard. So now we're gonna have chicks and trash in our yard. I mean, in our house. This is gonna be a very temporary thing. We just gotta get them on warm. Feet. I feel so bad for them. I can't imagine. They literally have like, I mean, just the smallest amount of space. Thankfully, they had the water, and the water was keeping them cool. Like, they could step on the water. But, oh, man. They all have a little bit of singeing. Can you grab one? Well, yeah. I'm sure all of us would if we were right next to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Be soft with that. Oh, do you need daddy to get it? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try it? Be soft and put it in the box. Don't drop it. Good job, bud. Good job, now. <laughs> Again. You are clearly not your mom's child. <laughs> well, he used to be just as afraid of them as you are. We do have one, Mars, that has an injury, it looks like. Uh, is it its oh. leg? Be soft. <laughs> okay, daddy, get the last one. So, I don't know if you can see this. Look at this one's leg. Oh, I saw. He's really struggling. He's got, like, major hip issues, it looks like. I wonder if it's the way we grabbed him. Well, no, that was the one that I helped out of the shell. So, you don't think it's from the fire? I mean, it very easily could have been from the fire. I have no idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? What? What? How do we help him? Cause he's really bad. He's got kind of the worst of it. Here, let me, can you see the like burn marks on him? Thankfully, I don't think any of them got, like none of them got burn burned. They just, some Their of them got a little toasty. Got a little singed. Yeah, never, please don't. It, yeah, it doesn't look like they're actually burned. So it's been a couple of hours. Maverick's actually down to bed. The chicks are all doing good. They seem to have recovered like nothing happened. I don't know how, I mean, talk about PTSD for them. <clears throat> that was just insane, but I, we're just so so grateful that it wasn't worse that I hadn't left to work yet And seriously guys God works in mysterious ways because I was supposed to be at work But we had things kind of shuffled around to where I was actually I didn't have to be to work until noon instead of at 9 or 10 o'clock whatever it was before so oh Did That's I get your crazy. heart racing? Yeah, yeah, that was insane. Oh my gosh <laughs> Well, let's talk about what we've learned from this. Yeah, what have we learned from this experience? One, screw the heat lamp into the board. So I don't know if it, I don't, I don't think it was Zan that knocked it over. I, after thinking about it and looking at how it was set up, I don't think Zan could have knocked it over. So I'm guessing it had to have been the wind or who knows, something that could have fallen off of a shelf and hit it in there. Uh, so I don't think it was him, but I mean, it could have been. it was a pretty windy day. So it was really windy. Yeah. So it could have been that. Uh, what else did we learn? 
How to use a fire extinguisher. I've used it before, but man, it's been a long, long time. Yeah, just be careful with heat lamps, you guys. Especially, it's it's chick raising season. A lot of people are getting baby chicks, so really be careful. Yeah, I mean, and people are getting chicks for the first time. I've never really had them yeah. before. And then, yeah, have it in like a safe spot, a safe location. For us, that was not a safe location. Like, yeah, didn't even think about it, but now we will be thinking about it a lot differently. So, we've learned a ton. For sure. Yeah. We're just glad it wasn't worse. Hopefully you guys learned something from this just like we did. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.